hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to create the ACS cluster using EC2 so Amazon ECS it is the one of the containerization service it is more secured and uh, flexible service so we can see how to create this ECS using the EC2 server so for that we need total three things first thing we have to create the cluster second we should require the task definition and we need service so these three things we are going to create also we are going to attach the load balancer and we will see the output of the load balancer so as i said earlier i am going to create first cluster so create cluster here you can create three kind of clusters one is fargate second one is ec2 and you also you can use with your on-premises network i am going to create with ec2 you have to provide the cluster name ec2 cluster so i am going to choose instance type as t2 micro and provisioning model it is on demand and number of instances i am going to create one and i am going to choose the key pair as jenkins key as it is my already created key and uh, ami i am going to cho choose amazon linux to ami and I'm going to create new VPC and I'm going to give subnet these are three subnets available with my region and auto assign public IP this is the cluster security group here I am going to allow all traffic which i already created in my security group and container role here i am going to create the container role as ec2 to amazon ecs full access role you will see here default role so you can choose that also create so you can see ECS cluster got created and IAM policy got created now via cloud formation it is creating the EC2 instance we can see here in the console one of the EC2 instance started pending so this is our cluster EC2 instance so we have successfully created our EC2 cluster in the ECS next we are going to create task definition create task definition we are using EC2 we have to provide the task definition name EC2 task definition and task role I am giving default network mode I gave default and task execution role I am giving as default and task memory 100 MB and task CPU allocation 1024 MB that is one virtual CPU next add container container 1 and here you can provide any kind of image I am giving NGINX latest this image will pull from the docker hub so container port 80 leave it as it is add create we have created successfully task definition go to your cluster next we are going to create service ec2 number of task ec2 service minimum health percentage value i am giving for demo purpose zero 
deployment type rolling update next step this is network configuration here we are going to create with application load balancer so as our service is container it is micro based service application so we are going to use application load balancer we don't have any load balancer we are going to create so this is load balancer page create load balancer my load balancer name alg choose your subnet and from load balancer i am opening the odd traffic for the demo purpose here i need to give the target group so here is our target group create target group our target group is instance target group name tg1 port is 80 next this is our cluster instance currently i have only one running instance that is with our cluster include as pending below create target group so now it is not yet associated we will go to the load balancer and we refresh we got our target group create load balancer so now we created our load balancer it is under provisioning status next we go to our cluster creation we are in creating service refresh we got our load balancer and this is our container add to the load balancer and we don't do any auto scaling create service now the service is getting create view service you can see our load balancer is up and running and it is active so what we did we have created our cluster and we have created the task definition this is like a blueprint of our container we have given the memory and ram everything and we have started the our service and we have created the load balancer so now we will see the output so this is the end point dns name so we are getting the nginx output like this you can create the ecs underlying with ec2 servers so if you like this video give thumbs up thanks for watching subscribe my channel